So the purpose of this video is to show you how to put legs on your gargoyle. There's two main kinds of legs that people typically make. You can either do legs like this, that make it look like your gargoyle is sitting on hind legs like a dog or a cat, or you can do legs that stick out straight in front of your gargoyle. Now, you're not limited to those two kinds of legs, but those are normally the two kinds that work the best. Because if you try to put legs underneath your gargoyle, the weight of your gargoyle will sometimes smush them um, because this is gonna be fairly heavy. So I'm gonna show you how to do this type of leg first, okay, and then we'll go on to the second type. Now I have to warn you, this looks a little goofy when you first put it on, but once you get the whole thing together and your gargoyle is completely designed, it definitely looks much better. We're going to roll two different coils. So we're gonna be constructing this leg in two different parts. Just a reminder about coils. You do need to have clay that's kind of soft. Let's see, that's gonna be a little bit too much. If your clay is too dry, your coils will tend to crack on you, especially if you're trying to bend the coil at any part. So make sure you have clay that's nice and soft. Okay. So just like I've been showing you in a lot of the other videos, I'm going to make sure that the pieces that I'm adding are nice and smoothed out before I put it on. Roll it a little bit and then shape the rest of it with my hand. Okay, now I'm gonna hold this up to my gargoyle to see how it looks. It's a pretty big leg, but that's okay. If that's how I want it. Okay, so this is gonna be the beginning. So this is like the upper part of the leg, so we wanna make sure that that portion is bigger than the lower part that's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna set that off to the side for a minute, grab another piece of clay, we're gonna roll a coil that's slightly smaller. Now, just like with the arms, think about the shape of your leg. The upper part of your leg, of course, is bigger than the lower part of your leg. So I like to make sure that when I do this portion of the leg, I do roll the bottom half a little bit thinner so that it looks kind of like an ankle. Then I'm gonna trim the ends just to make them look cleaner. The ends of my coils always tend to look a little bit messy. Okay. I'm gonna hold this up and see if it looks like it's gonna be the right size. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter, so I have enough room, of course, to add my foot, which is going to come later. Okay, so, so far, this is what it looks like, and I know that it looks goofy, but we're going to go with this and go ahead and attach this piece and then this piece. Just like with the arms, I'm gonna press this down gently, then I'm gonna pick up my gargoyle. I'm gonna trace around the areas where I know I'm going to be attaching these so that I don't make my score marks in a spot where I don't want them. And I'm gonna gently pull this off. And you can see that that's where it look, or that's what it looks like, where I'm going to be attaching these. I'm gonna make my score marks with my pink tool so I can be more precise with where I'm putting them. Okay. 
a little bit of water. And I'm gonna press down just to make sure that they are stuck. Press down gently, of course. Okay, now you'll notice that there's a little gap right here. We're gonna fill that gap with what is kind of like the knee of your leg. So I'm just gonna roll a ball of clay, make sure that it's the right size. And I'm gonna score and slip it right into that area. Looks like we need to make it just a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna blend. Okay, so now I'm ready to put the whole thing together. Sorry, I didn't mean to angle that away from the camera. So just very carefully, I'm going to blend the knee together. I have to pick this up for just a second. I'm kind of running into the arm here, so I gotta figure that out. I'm gonna clear a little bit of that clay away. All right. So I have it blended um, at the top here. The other place I'm gonna need to blend it is right down here where it attaches on the bottom. That's a really easy spot to forget, especially, you know, your gargoyle's normally sitting on the table. You don't always look underneath, but you gotta remember to blend there as well. It really helps secure the leg and makes it look like it is part of the body, which is what we're going for. All right, so that's the first kind of leg, and then eventually we'll get the foot underneath here. The second kind of leg is, I'm sorry, I'm recording a video right now. Would you mind waiting a bit? <laughs> Thank you. I think I just had some people coming in to get some gar or to get some recycling. The second kind of leg is a plain coil. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna to try to make it a little bit wider on the top and a little bit thinner down towards the bottom. Let me move this off to the side. We'll roll our coil. <clears throat> All right. Now, just like with the arms, when you do this, you do have the option of rolling a longer coil that you cut in half, and then that will ensure that your legs are about the same thickness, because it can be really hard to roll two separate coils that are exactly the same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold this up. Now, normally when people attach their legs to the front, they kind of do it off to the side like this. This is a really long leg, so I think I'm gonna shorten it up a little bit. I could trim on either side, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim on the thicker side. See how that looks. All right, I think it's still a little bit long. We could trim it down even more. All right. So there we go. I know this looks kind of funny because we have two different style legs, but it's the best way I know how to show you the two different styles. To put this one on, I'm going to trace around where it goes. Pull it off. Go ahead and score. Okay. I'm going to score on this side. 
Try not to make your legs too thin if you're going to do this style because you do want to make sure you've got enough surface area on this side that you're going to be able to easily connect. I pressed something on my computer I did not mean to press. Sorry for all the interruptions. Okay. A little bit of water to help glue the two pieces together, and now we're going to blend. So I'm going to blend it on top, of course. And then just like I mentioned with the other style, you want to make sure that you pick it up and look underneath. Because this spot is a really easy spot to miss, and you want to make sure that this gets blended too. Not only because it looks better that way, but it's going to help create a more secure connection. All right. So then of course I would go on and do the other leg if this is the style that I'd chosen. I'm gonna trim this off on the end just a slight bit. So the hands and feet are going to be another video. For right now, I want to give you some tips on how to pack up your gargoyle once you've added things like legs or anything else that's sticking off your gargoyle and your bag may put a little bit of pressure on them. You do have to be a little bit more careful with the way you bag this up. So please just be mindful of where those areas are that are sticking off your gargoyle and don't make the bag so tight around your gargoyle that it's going to bend those areas or put any kind of pressure on them. And then of course, like always, when you move your gargoyle, always pick your gargoyle up very carefully. Don't ever pick it up by the bag. What that's gonna do, if you pick it up by the top of the bag, is put pressure on the sides and then anything that's sticking off your gargoyle is going to immediately bend and then eventually probably break off. So just be really careful about that. Next video is going to be hands and feet. Bye.